official. Charles and William hold midnight meeting, shook hands to ban profiteer Sussexes from Jubilee. Prince William allegedly warned Charles to not let Harry visit Queen Elizabeth, royal gossip claims. Are Prince William and Prince Charles conspiring against Prince Harry? One report says the two did everything they could to keep Harry from visiting Queen Elizabeth. Gossip Cop investigates. The Daily Beast understands that Prince William has no desire for his brother to attend Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June, fearing his presence would overshadow the celebrations and damage the dignity of the proceedings. Prince Charles reportedly met with his son William for two hours after the visit of Sussexes. According to British publications, the trio had private talks away from the cameras at the midnight, mingling at Windsor Castle with other family members. A source told the publication, it's early days but you'd hope this is exactly the first step the whole royals would have wished for. It's forbidding Meghan Harry to come back. Prince William raised his opinion and asked Charles to stop Harry from coming to ruin Jubilee. Harry's presence on British soil is not welcomed by his brother, one source said. Last time Harry came to the UK, William managed to be in the Alps. These things don't happen by accident. William is sick of the sight and sound of his kid brother. He doesn't want him there. Fueling speculation that Harry won't make an appearance is that a newly formed polo team that Harry has joined with his friend Nacho Figueras has said that it intended to play a series of matches this summer, one of which falls on the first weekend of June. The source told the Daily Beast that William would be quite content if Harry was unable to make the celebrations because he was playing polo in California rather than standing next to his brother pretending to be friends. Of course, every polo team has backup and reserve players, and Omid Scobie, the reporter who penned the pro-Sussex biography Finding Freedom, cautioned on Twitter against reading too much into the scheduling of games. Please stop this Harry. According to New Idea, Harry and Meghan Markle had a lovely visit with Elizabeth en route to the Invictus Games. However, Harry seemed to promptly betray the family with a treacherous interview. He said he was making sure the Queen has the right people around her and is protected, raising palace eyebrows once more. A royal source says Elizabeth is furious over the comments, she must see they are using her, and I'm sure she'd like this nonsense to stop now before it ruins her jubilee year. Prince Charles had reportedly been optimistic about the meeting, but it blew up in everyone's face. Charles has taken Harry's claim that the Queen is unprotected as a direct insult, a source concludes. Prince William warned his father not to give Harry an inch. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are complaining that Harry and Meghan can't have the best of both worlds. They chose to move to the US to do their own thing and it would be unfair to the other royals for them to get special treatment. They're beyond fed up with them grabbing headlines for bashing the family, the source said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also stepped down from their royal roles, which would seem to automatically exclude them from playing an official part in the Platinum Jubilee, although they may still attend. The Queen is yet to meet her great-granddaughter, ten-month-old Lilibet. During the recent Invictus Games in the Netherlands, Harry told a US television network, I don't know yet. There's lots of things with security issues and everything else. So, this is what I'm trying to do, trying to make it possible that I can get my kids to meet her. But a non-appearance on the balcony by the Queen would solve one problem by putting an end to family squabbles over who ought to stand alongside her. Andrew is said to be jostling for involvement in the Jubilee and is expected to continue to attend family gatherings. But questions are being asked over what constitutes an official Jubilee engagement.